Well, it seemed like the screen recorder worked pretty well. I'm just going to leave it up here in the corner because um, I had an issue with it when it would go behind the screen. And the actual um, uh, application would disappear, but it would still be running in the background. And I had to go to Task Manager and end it so that I could actually continue um, using it. So I'm just going to leave it up here in the corner. And you notice, actually, since I wasn't on the window, it just went behind. It's on my desktop now. But, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to talk about how I'm going to draw something to the screen. So, to start off, the first thing I have to introduce you to is a thing... Oh, I'll, I'll do this the long way. So, I'm going to do one more thing down here. I'm going to do frame, uh, set, ignore, repaint, true. And that's, don't worry about it too much, but that's just a good habit. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create public boolean running. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go here and inside of our run method is we're gonna create a while loop and then while running and actually when we run the game we want to set running to true so while the game is running this is where we're gonna update everything so you know how like you have your FPS and everything that's going to be in here. We're not going to actually worry about FPS too much because this is a text-based game. And let me just close this because it's from the beginner stuff. But inside of here, we're still going to have our drawing to the screen stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is since our display extends the canvas, the canvas has a lot of built-in methods that are really useful and one of these that we're gonna use is it's um well we're gonna create a buffer strategy and if my understanding of this is correct it's basically how many times the screen buffers or how many times like it's gonna back it up to memory a couple times and then buffer it I mean and then it's gonna render it on the screen so it's backed up in the memory and then rendered on the screen at least I think that's right. But you don't need to fully understand that to grasp the concept of this. Basically, we're just going to create a buffer strategy. Buffer strategy. Buffer strategy. Just like that. And we're going to name it BS just because BS stands for buffer strategy, not the other thing. Equals. Uh, get buffer strategy no okay get buffer strategy and that basically gives you the buffer strategy that our canvas has and we need to import this so you can just mouse over it and import it and because this is the first now obviously it, it may not have one because you might not think it but your canvas doesn't necessarily have to have a buffer strategy actually you have to create one for it in the first place so what you do is you're gonna do if BS equals null which means if this object is nothing if this returned nothing then we're gonna create a buffer buffer strategy and what that is it's create buffer strategy and then inside of here is int number of buffers how many times it buffers so let's just use two for now and then what we want to do is we're just gonna use continue and I think I explained this before I spelled it wrong continue but if I didn't it's gonna skip the rest of the loop it's just gonna go back to the beginning of the loop that's what continue does so, 
now what we're going to do is we want the actual graphics because the way you draw stuff to the, to the screen is you get the graphics and draw it from there so we want the graphics that this buffer strategy has and that's pretty simple we use graphics g equals bs dot get draw graphics no not that not get class get draw graphics and close that and we have to import our graphics too so you can see our import list is slowly getting larger that's another thing about Eclipse if you haven't noticed yet you can collapse methods on themselves so you only see the name I don't use it that often but when you're trying to look around your code and you want to keep it clean if it's really long then you can just do that so now that I have our uh, drawing graphics we're gonna use them for something so I'm going to create a render method public void render and it's gonna require that you give it graphics and then since we're working in 2d space it's just a 2d screen with text on it or what's gonna end up we're gonna set graphics 2d g1 equal to graphics 2d g and this this parentheses thing is something that I will explain later I just realized that I would be using it so I might explain it in the next video but I will explain it eventually and how it works but yeah so now what we're gonna do with our graphics that we got up here is if you haven't guessed by now we're gonna call our render method and we're gonna pass in the graphics so render with these graphics so now um, first thing we, we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to set a color and this is this color is gonna fill up our whole background so you do g1 which is our graphics 2d object dot set color and it, ah, I hit the wrong key dot set color and inside here you put your color so the cool thing about colors is that there's this color class that's in Java that has a lot of pre-coded colors into it so we're gonna use color dot black and we have to import color okay now what we're gonna do is also one more thing we gotta do is we have to do bs dot show because if we don't do this then we're never gonna actually see what we're putting in the graphics it's just gonna be in the graphics and we'll never know so we actually have to show it on the canvas which since we added it to the frame we added this then it'll appear on the frame and then what we're gonna do with our black color is we're gonna do g1 dot fill make sure you do fill rectangle or R E C T. If you do draw a rectangle or R E C T, it only outlines the rectangle. It doesn't actually fill it in. So that's why there's the fill. And wait, the X, the int X that it requires is where the rectangle starts. So we want it to be at zero. The Y is where it, where the Y coordinate starts. So like you have your X and Y coordinate plane. If you know graphing, that's not too hard to understand. Now in Java, it's a bit weird though because the x, the zero, zero coordinate is actually the top left corner of the screen, and as you increase in y, it gets lower on the screen. So like a hundred is lo is lower on the screen than zero, and x is the same as in graphing. As you increase it, it goes across to the right. And then for the width, that's pretty obvious. It's the width of your rectangle, so we're just going to use game width. And for the height, we're going to use game height. And then you close it, and what you see here is we have a black rectangle covering our thing. As where before, if I comment that out, you see the boring old gray that we had before. 
so you can see that it is working and then we can draw more stuff on top of it so let's set it to a different color set color and we'll use color dot blue and then we'll fill another rectangle fill rectangle and we'll put this one at 100 100 we'll make it 50 by 50 and if we run this then we get our blue rectangle right there that's 100 100 and it's 50 by 50 and then there is one more thing that I want to show you about this actually no don't I'm not gonna go there okay so now that we finished that we're going to I'm gonna show you how to set font so like when you want to draw stuff on your screen this isn't what we're gonna use in the end we're gonna be using images so that we can use the length better we're gonna use an image file with all our fonts in it but just for the purpose of showing you how this works and how you can actually draw something on your screen what we're gonna do is we're gonna do g1 dot set font and then inside of here you put a font so I'm not actually sure if we do font dot there's no pre-made fonts okay we'll just create a font new font and then your parameters that it requires it requires a type of font so you just type the name like Times New Roman or Arial I'm gonna use Arial and then the next thing is you just do font dot bold this is a whole bunch of different uh, things for the font to make it bold or italicized I'm just gonna use plain which means it's just gonna be plain old font and then the last number that you use is the size of the font so let's make it 30 and let's set our color to something else let's set it to color dot orange that didn't work orange okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do g1 dot draw string this time we actually want to use string and we're gonna do this so in here you put your string we're gonna put hello world this time from a window and then here we're gonna put our coordinates so let's put it just 10 from the side and let's put it at about 300 sure hello world this time from a window so you can see it does work and let's just change this to an exclamation point so it looks more exciting and I do believe that um, let me let me make sure I'm telling you this right yes so this y coordinate is actually where the bottom of the font starts the x coordinate is where the fir the first letter starts and it goes from left to right that's pretty obvious but the y coordinate is actually the bottom of the font so right there is your 300 point and your 300 y point so yeah you can see that looks pretty good I think that yeah that'll be all for this tutorial you can do some pretty cool stuff with just this you can draw you can draw picture pictures with lots of rectangles in them if you really wanted to and what I did when I first learned about this is I actually went and I checked out all the other possibilities for it like draw oval or I think it might be draw ellipse but whichever one it is you can go try those out they're, they're more or less the same structure there may be a few more parameters but they should be easier to un they should be pretty easy to understand but yeah if you like this video like it if you want to see more subscribe to my channel if you have suggestions for what you want me to cover next in my beginner tutorial leave a comment on that and if you didn't understand any part of this also leave a comment on that and I'll go over it as soon as I can thanks for watching